There's shadowing going on. Don't, don't believe that. I know all y'all say, but I can't go off in the go right now. Everybody can't go. <laughs> it ain't because you don't love God. Uh -huh. yes, it ain't because you don't believe. It's just what I'm about to do now. Uh -huh. Everybody can't go with me because you know what? You might not believe when you get your back against the wall. You know, you need some folks that can believe God with you. You know, I remember uh, uh, this been some years ago, years, years ago, when I first started this process, when I started getting, I was going to the hospital, and I wish she was here. She could testify to the truth. My son, and she was not my sister with all in. She was a young girl, a very young girl, Ashley. Her uncle was in the hospital. He's dead now. And his stomach was as big as mine and Reggie in a teeth stomach. That's big. Big and hard. Big. And so I called one of my friends. I called my cousin. I said, I need you to go to the hospital with me. But if you don't believe that God can do anything, I don't need you to go. I know you love God. I know you're a prayer. But if you can't believe that God can do anything, you're better off if you stay at home. He said, I believe. He said, let's go. Because they had no alternatives. It was dead or death. And he lived a long time after this. And we prayed for him. the next morning, all this green stuff was in the bag. Just the point of this is you can't take everybody with you to do certain things. It ain't because they don't believe. It, it, ain't, it ain't because they don't love God. Where you about the goal? You need the ones that can stand with you and and say, hey, I, I believe it if I can't see it. You need those kind of folks that operate in pure faith. It's not tangible. I can't put my hand on it, but I see it in the spirit. I, can, I, can, I picked it up in the spirit, and I'm going to see it in the spirit with you. It ain't mean everybody's bad. It ain't, I'm not saying none of that. Jesus has had three. You can pick it up in the spirit with me. You, 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 you can see it the way I see it. You know, you, 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 can, you I believe that you see it the way I see it. <sighs> they came to the house of the synagogue ruler. Now, this was interesting to me. The first thing the writer picks up is there's a what? A lot of confusion in the house. Uh -huh. You ever been in a place and it just didn't feel right? You knew something was out of bounds. Wow. Oh, I, I love it, Jamar. That's that Baptist food. That's that Baptist well right there. You've been in the well too long now. They got your welling over there. And you know in your spirit that something is just, oh, you, 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 it's just, it. yes. the writer says there's confusion in the room or in the house. Huh. The people were crying and they were sobbing loudly. This was funny to me. If you really knew Jesus, why sob and cry? Mm -hmm. 